Hey, it's Austin from Nouveau Draws, and today we're gonna to be doing a challenge that's being hosted by Ergo Josh. Uh, this challenge is really good for, I feel like, people that are maybe in a slump, like I am with my art right now. Um, I feel like I've kind of hit maybe a plateau or something like that. So a challenge like this, I feel like, is really gonna help you out if you're in that similar situation. So there's a couple rules. The first rule is you're gonna want some sort of timer. Uh, for me, I did 10 minutes. Uh, and you're gonna draw something in those 10 minutes that you've never drawn before. Uh, for me, I've, I've started drawing females recently, so I figured that's a pretty good option for me. So then once that 10 minutes is up, you wanna give yourself a one minute break. And this is to kind of uh, assess maybe what you could have done better with the drawing. This is gonna allow you to see your mistakes, like uh, maybe where you went wrong with the proportions and things like that. Um, and then you're going to sit down for another 10 minutes, draw that same drawing again, and then you're gonna take another one minute break, and then you're gonna do another 10 minutes. Um, now the hardest part for this is you can't use any music. You can't listen to music while you're doing this. Uh, that was a tough one for me. I feel like that makes it hard mode for a lot of artists, because I know a lot of artists like to listen to music when they're drawing. Um, so that was pretty tough, but no music. Afterwards, uh, see what happens. All right, so round one done. Uh, I actually kind of like the result that we got here. Um, I feel like I was a little bit awkward at first because uh, I'm trying to do like a different style of starting out my heads and uh, part of that is drawing like the planes of the face, which I'm still kind of getting familiar with myself. Um, either way though, pretty happy with it. Uh, what can we fix? Looking like, um, definitely like the shape of the head here uh, needs to get brought in a little bit more. Um, wish I had time to kind of clean up some of these lines a little bit because this circle going right through her face really isn't helping anything. But uh, other than that, maybe bring the mouth, make that a little bit bigger. Um, the eyes, I feel like are pretty much far enough apart. It's just this stuff's kind of throwing it off. Like I said, a lot of stuff will get cleaned up, but either way, uh, definitely seen some places we can improve and let's try to fix that in the next one. Thank you. 
All right, round two over. Uh, I feel like that one went a lot better. Uh, seeing a lot of improvements. The shape of the head's looking a lot nicer. Uh, the neck looking a little too thick in the neck. I uh, wish I had a little bit more time to clean up some of these lines. Probably would help out a little bit. Um, other than that, definitely seeing a lot of improvements. And let's try to hopefully do better in the third one. Okay, I do not know what happened with this one, honestly. Um, I think I was just feeling the pressure from the last one, but it is looking pretty bad. Uh, chin got way off somehow. Uh, I think I was trying to be a lot looser because uh, there's a lot of like soft lines in the reference photo, but either way, uh, I'm sorry about this. And didn't have time to clean up any of the lines, so we still got that big old circle through the face. I don't know, I think we need to get a side-by-side -side comparison and, and really look at these to get a better idea. Okay, so definitely seeing them side-by-side -side, uh, helps out a lot. Number three, have no idea what happened with that one. I feel like I'm liking number two the best. You guys let me know what you think in the comments, but I feel like number two is a clear winner here. Uh, and I, I just wanna, from the bottom of my heart, apologize for number three. I guess that's just part of the journey. You know, you're gonna have a few bumps in the road. Uh, that's what happens. They, they can't all be pretty. Um, other than that, I think that's it for this challenge. For my artist of the week this week, I picked Reese Large. He has a lot of really cool fantasy style character designs, some of which are based on his own D&D &D characters. Reese deserves way more support for his art, so be sure to go check him out. I put a link to his Instagram in the description. If you'd like a chance to be my artist of the week, be sure to leave your Instagram in the comments. That's it for today's video. I really like this exercise. I feel like I'm gonna do it a lot more now just cause I'm already seeing a little bit of results. I hope you guys do. Uh, make sure if you do this challenge, you use the hashtags that uh, Josh put out. It's uh, ergo3x or ergo3x challenge so he can see them. And yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.